obviously another disappointing day and um, bitter to uh, to know we're not able to to get across the finish line against another top 20 team uh, give Missouri credit for not folding and continue to battle our kids fought hard um, we're not making enough plays or making enough right calls at times to uh, to win these close games right now obviously and it's uh, disappointing for the Auburn family disappointing for our administration for our team for our kids our coaches um, it's just uh, boy it's been a, it's, it's a difficult year where it seems nothing is uh, going quite your way when it, you need it to you know the third quarter we have a good, really good drive and down there and you know thought the fade ball was a really good ball and we just you know we got to make those plays and and score we got to make those field goals or um you know just to keep our momentum but um we just uh, we we seem to not make the right call as coaches or the right play from time to time in critical moments still and that's kind of been the story of of the whole year and obviously it hurt to lose a turnover today too but um you know, it's just disappointing for sure. How pivotal was that last few minutes of the third quarter when Brady Cook comes back in and gets a big play and they kind of got the momentum back? Yeah, it was, uh, it was definitely a turning point that gave them some momentum. And, you know, it had been nice for us to see them have to drive down the field after our missed field goal. But uh, I don't know what down and distance it was on the, uh, the long completion. Um, those explosive plays are uh, devastating to us when you're um, – it was really – I thought our defense was uh, – it was really hard for them to sustain drives of, of a long length. Um, but, man, when you give them explosive plays like that, they're going to they're gonna score points. And that was, uh, that was a, definitely a turning point in the momentum for sure. Yeah, I mean that. No, I can't. I mean the. Uh, I mean we had one really good drive, and man, you get a. We go tempo play. We throw a screen out there, get ten yards, get a holding call. You know, it comes back, and then we didn't block well on the perimeter on that series either, and would have had some more explosive runs, I think. And actually, that's the one we fumbled uh, at when we didn't block real well on the perimeter. Uh, no excuse not to hold on to the ball, but uh, we could have blocked it better for sure. Um, but, you know, that was a really good, mature, old, experienced defensive line. And um, we knew it would be tough to hold up all the time against them if, they, if we couldn't stay balanced. And uh, they got after us when they had to. But, um, you know, I thought we had a good plan for running the football and, and staying balanced. And probably should have took a few more shots um, and on early downs. Um, Looking back, that's you know you wish you would have, but there's going to be a there'll be a hundred of those when you watch the film. You and Cam had the big play. I think the only just the only other target you had was right there in that last drive. You guys weren't able to look back and tell the coach you were probably going to be there if you had an incompletion. Well, I mean, I don't know. You know, when you call a pass play, you're not real sure where it's going to go or what coverage you're going to play. So it wasn't like we. Uh, we called a, a couple of others that I thought really he ha he would have had a good chance to, but um, and obviously we were trying to run the football, and they they pretty much took away the RPO game, which I felt like Corey would, um, and he he did a good job with that. But uh, you know we were able to get some good rushes uh, because of it, but uh, they won their share of battles up front too. Uh, no, I don't think anything health-wise is uh, is troubling him. Just uh, he was in a in a kicker slump, I guess you'd say. And um, hopefully, uh, you know, probably uh, Towns is closer. I mean, uh, Alex is closer health-wise for some shorter ones, probably. And um, probably have to look at that too.
open when you are. I guess that's what's more frustrating for you. It's you have to free the floor for tackles or for open tackles. Yeah, you know, quarterback scrambles, explosive pass plays, and um, you know, just uh, we, we we give up a few. Right there at the end, there was another third and ten. We played really too soft and gave them an easy throw to the chains. And you get a senior quarterback with, you know, talented receivers. That's going to be hard. And we're playing a bunch of freshmen back there. But um, I thought they played extremely hard and played well enough to win. We've got to score more points uh, than 17 on a day like today. Uh, so the first was an RPO, and uh, we had Robert. Wish we'd have had a bigger guy there. Um, but uh, I, I honestly, I think it hit his hands. I mean, I had to see the film. I thought it was a really good throw, and you know, we just we got to make those plays to win games. Um, I'm not sure. You'll have to tell me what the next two plays were. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what throw that was. Um, then obviously we tried to get it back in field goal range on third down, which we did. It should be a little chip shot, and fortunately we didn't make it.